Hello, hello, mic test. Hello, financial programmers. I'm Rithvik Dashora, and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings. In this video, I'll be talking about the date time library. It's a very useful library when we deal with anything related to date format because uh, in some cases we have seen many students are struggling with uh, converting um, a date format from string to a date time format or a timestamp format. That's why I'm making this video such that those students can get a very good help of how to use this library in the most easiest way. In the last videos, we talked about NumPy, Pandas, and Matplotlib library, and we have seen all and we have seen all different aspects of these libraries that which are useful in the field of finance. I'm not covering 100% of these libraries because most of the things are not useful in the field of finance. I'm just focused on you to become a perfect financial programmer. So yes, I will talk about only the things which are important and useful in your practical life. That's why I'm making this video on date time as well. And in the last videos, as I mentioned, for this playlist i am taking out some of the materials that i have provided inside this course which is python for financial programming in this course i talked about all different aspects of python in financial programming and just watch this video till the end and you'll see what are different benefits of enrolling this course so yes let's come to our code as uh, uh, i mentioned about uh, the numpy pandas or matplotlib library the date time library is also uh, saved or installed in any of the platforms that are using by default either you're using Jupyter Lab or using you're using uh, VS Code, you can just directly import it like this. If it's not available, just you'll have to do pip install date time, right? So I'm just gonna use import date time. If I just write date time dot date time dot now, you will see that it will show me the date and the time which is as of right now, right? So it's date time dot date time 2023. It's May 22nd of May and it's 1732, which is 532 in the evening, right? This is the time right now. If you want to see what is the year of this particular date time or uh, I would say of the x variable then just write x dot year you'll see 2023 if you just write x dot month you will see 5 x dot day you'll see the day which is 22nd now very important if you want to provide date in a date time format from scratch suppose you have year of say 2022 month is say 5 and day is 11 right you want to make a date time which is which represents this particular inputs right then just write date time dot date time year month and date sorry i'll have to change this to date right you'll see that you have the this particular date in the date time format that you can now provide it uh, in the analysis that you're doing now in many cases there as i mentioned at the beginning there are many students who struggle doing this thing because they they make it in a string format and then they struggle to put uh, filters right because if uh, the date time is in the um, string format or text format you cannot put any filters uh, on that particular date so yeah just remember that you will have to do it in this way to provide it in a date time format now suppose if you just write x dot strf time and then inside this i just provide percent h it will tell me the hour current the current hour which is 5 in the p uh, in the evening which is 17 right if you write y you, you already know it's 2023 if you just write small y it will just write 23 if you, if you provide m it will tell me it's 32 right and there are many more things you can just pause this video here just to understand what are what all different things we can provide it inside this particular input right now in many data frames or data structures it can be a series or a data frame pandas read the dates in uh, text format or in uh, string format right then in that case again one of the most common mistakes that people do is they don't convert the text column into a date time column. so how to do it is by using pandas dot to date time function right if you if you import pandas as pd then you'll have to do pd dot to date time in the parenthesis just provide all the important parameters here inside it right for example in this case it's uh, very nicely presented so you can see this one is a string right inside single inverted comma you can see it's a string to, to 2028 10 26 and all i want to convert it into a date time format then i'll be using pd dot to date time what is the thing that you not uh, that you want to convert and what is the format that you want to convert into and this is the way that you can use 
uh, pd dot date to date time function now this can be used for the entire column as well where rather than providing just one value here we provide the entire column for example df and then in square brackets date right then it will consider the entire date column and then convert it into the date time format very very important thing to remember and yeah that's it for this video if you want to learn date time library in much more detail with a lot of practice with quiz and assignments and want to get a certification that you can showcase to your employers or your professors then i highly recommend you to go through this particular course which is python for financial programming where i have covered all aspects of python in for financial programming uh, all the experience that i've got in last three years are actually inside this particular course you can see there are five sessions 10 chapters 22 videos 10 quizzes three challenging assignments two live projects which is this one you can pause the video and read about it and these are the different sessions the entire syllabus that is covered inside it you can see i have talked about different uh, important libraries as well inside this which is in session three which covers the date time as well uh, and it, I, I have actually talked about much more things in that particular course with the proper study materials and assignments and these are the two different projects which is on stock analysis and investment portfolio creation the link is in the description box which is fprithvik.com slash python for indian rupee click here for uh, other currencies click here and then you'll see this particular page in front of you the best part of this course is that you can get all these benefits which are 10 interactive quizzes, 3 challenging assignments, 2 live projects, 1 live session per month, certificate of completion at a very very discounted price currently because we are running a discount campaign and you'll get 40% instant discount by using the code RTK40 um, and yes please do remember that this particular campaign is for a very limited time period and uh, only first 100 candidates will get this discount so just click on this enroll now button and you'll see that the price after discount is very very cheap for the entire material that i'm providing in this course so yes guys that's it for this video i will see you in the next video where i'll be talking about scipy.stats.norm functionality till then peace